So, Paul, I mean, it could be it could be said that it's your fault that uh, Stevie is on the voice. Yeah, well, I always remember the day uh, when I was back home on leave for the army and I took Stephen for a wee driver in, in my new car and uh, I had stereophonics on. I always remember hearing his voice. He was sitting in the back seat. I could just hear him singing. And uh, I just turned the, the music down just so I could hear his voice. And he didn't notice I'd turned the music down so much and he, I could hear him kind of belting out the song a bit. And then I says, oh, you're a really good singer, wee man. And he got all embarrassed and stuff like that. And then ever since I heard that voice, I always knew he was going to be or do something really well in music. And when he asked us to uh, chip in with Michael to buy him his first guitar, uh, I was more than happy to help him. But unfortunately for Michael, he was a bit uh, short in the cash, so <laughs> I ended up taking the pleasure of buying him his first guitar. And I still uh, wind Michael up. Every day I can saying it was me who bought my first guitar because you were too skin. <laughs> so uh, I'm lucky, Michael. And how well do you think he's going to do in this competition? Oh, I think he's going to do amazing. Uh, personally, I think he's he's already the winner for me. Uh, and even after this competition, I know he's going to he's going to thrive in the music industry. I, I just uh, I've got a great feeling about, it. and it's been a long time coming for Stephen to kind of. For, for this stage for Stephen and I'm really, really proud of him. Oh. Yeah.